Hi. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, not bad. So it's good to have another English accent. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to start because obviously I haven't got too long. Um, with, with a huge, big movie like this, it's based on kind of a best-selling uh, book. I was just wondering, I just get this impression that there's a really tiring audition process. Was that the case for you? Was it something that went on quite a, a long time? How, how was your experience getting involved in this? Yeah, it was a very long, I think I did four maybe three or four maybe five auditions altogether. but I actually originally auditioned for Holly and my last audition which was the um screen test I actually met Lara and I found out maybe a couple weeks later that I didn't get the part but Ken wanted me to play Juliet and that made me feel super grateful because I was super grateful that he wanted me another part of the movie and when I found out Lara had gotten Holly it was super it was a really nice feeling. It was really heartwarming because I'd spent quite a lot of time with her at the screen test. So it was really nice to know that a, a, a familiar face was going to be on set with me. Yeah, how was it being on set with, with people your own age? It must have been quite good fun because I guess it, you often sort of you get movies, unless they're kind of these big adventure films with a young cast. Uh, people sort of your age are often the youngest on set, but I guess in your instance, you had people your own age to kind of to bounce off, which must have been quite good. Oh, yeah, there was there was me there was quite a few kids on the set and we got up to a bit of mischief but it was so fun it was super fun and how was it uh working with Kenneth Branagh I mean he's obviously sort of legend almost doesn't describe him in kind of cinema and theatre and everything over here in the UK he's just such a, a force of nature what's he like to work with on this project yeah as you said he's definitely a force of nature and it's really interesting getting to see what works inside of his brain especially as being a director and an actor so I think he definitely knows those experiences and he has such a creative mind uh, as in doing scenes a lot of some of the scenes we did some got put in which were just ad-libbed completely ad-libbed which was super super fun and it was just genuinely a joy to work with him and had, had you read the book before doing this and if not did you read it afterwards and what, what, what how did, did you find that helpful or not because I know a lot of actors have sort of sort of contrasting opinions on that one because some feel like it they feel like a pressure to be exactly like the character in the novel and like to find their own route and others quite like the the reference points and the kind of the route into the characters so what was your experience in that front so I hadn't read the book before I auditioned for it and once I had read the book after I auditioned for it um I think it was really helpful. I definitely do think it was really helpful, but I think the best thing about um, sort of starting a new movie that hasn't been a reboot is that you get to inhabit your own character. So it can, I think a lot of Juliet's characteristics are in the book, but I got to add a couple of my own things in there, which I found really, really fun. And do you believe in magic and the kind of the idea of there being all sorts of otherworldly things out there? Oh, 100 percent. A hundred percent. I am a huge believer in that magic is real. Everything is real. We just don't know about it yet. And are there going to be any kind of cast and crew Zoom calls or anything? Because usually when you get a film like this, there'll be a big cast and crew screening and everyone meets up and watches it together. But obviously what we've, what's going on in the world, that's quite difficult. So I'm just wondering if you guys have got anything planned with any of the, the cast just to kind of to watch it or, or to discuss your experiences and stuff. Yeah, there's nothing going on yet, but um, that's definitely a good idea. So thank you. But I think I'll probably try and get all the cast on the phone to have a chat about it so we can all talk about how exciting it was. So what's your plans to, for watching it when it launches on Disney Plus? Have you got any, I, I assume with your family, you're going to sit down and watch it? Yeah, so um, well, I've already seen the movie, but I'm 100% going to watch it again. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to watch it with my family and I'm just going to enjoy it. I think my mum bought a red carpet to put in our <laughs> back garden. So that's going to be exciting. Um, and then I've got my next door neighbours watching it next door. And then we're hopefully going to chat about it in our all of our back gardens so we can speak <laughs> next to each other. But um, yeah, just spend it with family. So have you got an outfit sorted for the red carpet yet? <laughs> Yes, I do. I do, actually. Um, it was the dress I was meant to wear to the premiere, which is super sad, but I'm still excited to wear it. And yeah, it's, it kind of reminds me of being a fairy and sort of the colours is, is very bright. So yeah, I'm excited for you guys to see it. We'll hope your premiere in your garden goes well anyway. And uh, best of luck with the movie. <laughs> All right, thank, thank you so you. much. Bye-bye. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! 
Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!